Good morning, Bridge Church. Uh, it's great to be sharing with you this morning. Um, I don't know if you saw Dave's last uh, vlog devotion. If not, I'd encourage you to go back and watch it. Um, he talks a little bit about New Year's resolutions. Uh, and I don't know if you're a New Year's resolutions type of person. So I have been known to drift in and out of not keeping New Year's resolutions. Um, but what I also like to do is set a verse for the year to set direction. And uh, one thing I, I've challenged a few people with lately is to look at perhaps a particular verse that you want to help guide you through the year or a particular uh, fruit of the Holy Spirit is sometimes something that people do. You know, maybe this year you want to focus on just love or just joy or peace, patience, goodness, kindness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. For me, it's the verse of seeking first the kingdom of God. And, and there's many things that we seek in life. This year you might be seeking some changes in your life or we might find ourselves wanting to seek to change the past or seek to change our circumstance or we're looking to to get ahead or to benefit ourselves benefit our families benefit our lives benefit others we we constantly look for things to uh, to influence the world for the better or to influence our world for the better but the greatest thing we can do, the Bible tells us, to, to seek first the kingdom of God. This is what it says in Matthew 6. And we're going to go from verse uh, 27. And it says this. And can any of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your span of life? And why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They never toil nor spin Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not clothed like any one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the fields, which is alive today and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? Therefore, do not worry, saying, what will we eat or what will we drink or what will we wear? For it is the Gentiles who strive for all these things. And indeed, your heavenly Father knows that you need these things already. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all of these things will be given to you as well. And there's a little key verse there that Jesus says to, to the people listening to, to him preach. You know, the Gentiles seek these things. They strive for these things. They focus on getting ahead. They focus on pushing their career or maneuvering their situation on making plans and making strategies. Uh, and Jesus's point here is, don't you think God already knows what you need? Like you're not a Gentile. You're not an unbeliever. You're somebody who follows Jesus. You're somebody who's given your life to God. And you need to realize that he knows exactly what you need. He knows every little bit of it. Uh, and what he calls you and I to do this morning and forevermore is to seek first the kingdom of God and all of these other things that God already knows you need will be added to your life. He'll be, um, he'll be making sure that you don't miss the essentials. And so my prayer for you this morning is this, simply to seek first the kingdom of heaven. What is the thing you're worrying about right now? What is the thing that you're focused on? that you're fearful of or or that you're remunerating thinking mulling over thinking ah can I go back and change that can I can I uh, influence this situation whatever it is would would you just lay it at the feet of God and say actually first and foremost I want to seek first the kingdom of heaven and in doing that recognizing that all things will be added to me what does Jesus say the kingdom of heaven is at hand the kingdom of heaven has come and even in uh, the Lord's Prayer, uh, your kingdom come, your will be done. And so we need to be kingdom minded people, focused on the kingdom. Seek first the kingdom of heaven and everything will be added to you. Father God, I thank you for my brothers and sisters watching this. Help us to have an attitude and a mindset that seeks first the kingdom of heaven, that seeks first your glory, your will, your desire uh, and to live in righteousness and recognize that you already know what we need. You already know what we're missing, what we're lacking. Uh, and sometimes the thing we think we want isn't what we need. You already know the essentials, God. And I pray that we rest in that confidence that as we seek you first, that you take care of the rest. In Jesus' name, amen. May you know his grace and favour over your life today. Bless you.